Yes, it's breakfast time here for the sheep. Millie's my favourite. Look how calm she is as well. From the Manatee County Fair, Linda Carson, ABC7. Would you not eat my pants? Ah! <laughs> There's a grape. Well, I'll take that. And... <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to tease you. I didn't mean to tease. I'm I sorry. think you just got told by a monkey. I did. This is Tal. He's about 14 years old. He doesn't like the cold as much as the tigers, do you? But he's choosing to be outside, and if it gets really cold, he can go into his den in the back. Right, Tal? <laughs> These three llamas showed up here Thursday night. Here we are almost a week later, and they're still roaming throughout the area. Neighbors say they're trying to find the owners, but no one has claimed them yet. And now they're trying to figure out what to do next. <laughs> I'm Scott Mattis, live in Hernando, Mississippi, where there's been spottings of a cougar, and that's not it. That looks like a house cat, uh, but we're just feet away from where a local man rolled his cell phone video on what some say is a cougar. I'll be right back with a live report. Como que vino primero, el huevo o la gallina? <laughs> <laughs> Police have confirmed that a big cat spotted by residents in East Ayrshire is not a black panther. An expert has been unable to confirm exactly what type of cat triggered a search that involved a police helicopter. It was spotted around quarter to nine this morning. Somebody's making me laugh here. In fields near the B730 between the villages of Drongan and Coal Hall. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I made a friend. This is Reggie. Reggie is an eleven foot high. Look at him. You just want to support well, him. Well, he's holding on to me yeah. now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you can support him, but and, and then, yes, he kind of helps kinda... you out by grabbing onto you and holding. Got it. So this is amazing. All right. Thank yeah, you, this, this so is much. awesome. Oh, you're so welcome. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Now, if it, you want to... Uh, not this way. Not with the head. Not this way. Can you turn? Please? I think he wants to give you kisses to <laughs> I could watch this forever. Listen, if you want to check out some of these critters for yourself... Oh my god. Come see. <laughs> Look at that dog. <laughs> that is so great. <laughs> Are they looking at that? Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. And cats, they're not usually known for their love of swimming, but one feline in Northern Virginia is hitting the water instead of the gym in an effort to lose weight. Holly is a 13-year-old cat who dislikes the outdoors and other physical activities. But with encouragement from her owner and weekly visits to the old town pet resort, <laughs> Holly has managed to lose one pound in six weeks. <laughs> Stay with us, everybody. We've got a lot more to go. <laughs> you guys... This is what you've been missing. I told him that it was my first day anchoring and the birds laughing at me. Yes, I guess so. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, let's, let's, what do we have here? Uh, we have here, he is called a laughing superbowl. Okay. As you can hear. They are native to Australia. And 
You can find them in all habitats. What you're hearing right now is a territorial call. Okay. And this call is primarily dusk and dawn. Проголосовать за снос включенного в программу реновации дома. У меня тут собака. Можно, можно будет через интернет или в районном отделении МФС. Артем Васнев расскажет подробнее. Что у меня делает собака в студии, ребят? Я вообще кошатница. Я кошатница, я люблю кошек. It's okay. Come a little closer. Do I'm gonna stay over here by Joni. Do they know each? Do they no. Hold him tight. Hold him tight. Hold him tight. I am. I am. Hold him tight. I am. I am. You got it. I am. Oh, it's okay. All right. All right, Joni. You got it. <laughs> See that? Alligator wrestling. Oh yeah. How's your wrist? <laughs> I'm okay, but you haven't had that workout <laughs> since. Uh... Hold him okay. tight. I was. That thing is strong. <laughs> I got the Joey, you all right? I'm fine. That tape, see the scotch tape didn't... Oh, all right. It helped. It that helped. Did. I'm sorry. All right, so... Fine what? job. And this cat has actually been entertaining us in the studio for about 15... Whoops! <laughs> <laughs> He's back. <laughs> Why do you think I'll just hold on to I think you might want to hold him for now. Who's this Mr. Miyagi? <laughs> Sarah, take it away. <laughs> Tell me about Mr. Miyagi. He got his name because he meows a lot, not because he not jumps because a lot. Not because he jumps a lot. <laughs> I, think, I think we overexcited him. We had this little tail thing that we had him getting excited over during the commercial break. Okay. And he just literally, we saw it coming, but we didn't know it was going to happen on well, uh, television. <laughs> now to the story of a pig that is inspiring others. One pond. <laughs> One pot-bellied pig has certainly endured his share of problems. Chris P. Bacon was born without the use of his back. <laughs> My king. Yeah, you have to read this story. <laughs> we should not. Oh my god. <laughs> On the New York Stock Exchange, prices were lower despite a late rally. The trading was very active. <laughs> Ed Berger's coming up in just a few moments. The Dow Jones Industrials closed down nearly two points. An average share of common stock gained four cents. More than 37 million shares were traded. <laughs> well, I got it. Tonight, our money reporter Ed Berger is prepared, I think, <laughs> to talk turkey on inflation. And <laughs> Tony, uh, you know, the current inflation problem has made it very difficult to get any bargains. Now, it seems appropriate that... That is Diamond. A couple had stopped at the subway in Grove City for some lunch when they saw this little dog barking and honking and its owner to hurry up. The video was posted on Facebook. <laughs> Turns out this is not the first time Diamond has caused a ruckus. The pup has been seen around town doing this. <laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> Todd's about to lose it. Oh, but seriously, what a sassy dog. I <laughs> love the boss. <laughs> this is why okay. we can't show Todd dogs. Pet stories. Can I find this in Arlington? Oh, good grief, yes. Oh, boy. Uh, let me, let's see how long it is. Let's hold okay. it out. This I'll guy is uh, probably close to five feet. Texas rat snakes are going to be one of the largest snakes that you find in the Metroplex area. <laughs> <laughs> Get this thing off me, man. Get this thing off me, man. God dang. What is this thing jumping at me for, man? He likes you. Yeah, I can tell, man. All right, let's try to get back under control. Stop. You didn't tell me this thing jumped. Well, God dang. I'm a, I'm a... Okay. Let's try to get our composure here. <laughs> You're all right. Yeah. 
<laughs> so the Texas rat snake can be up to five feet long, huh? That's right. <laughs> uh, some of them can get upwards and approach seven feet. Hello, I'm Alvin Hall. I'm sorry, I'm not, I know I'm going to blow this. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> ready? Yeah. Okay. Hello. Ooh, I see how <laughs> Many investment schemes sprang up to take advantage of this investment opportunity. One scheme promised investors a 50% return on their investment within one year. <laughs> I think. <laughs> oh, well. I think I. One scheme offered investors a 50% return on their money within one year. To me, that would have been a warning sign. Nonetheless, 4,000 investors plunked down 20 million pounds, seeing signs of pounds in their future. Sorry, I know. To me, that would have been a warning sign. Nonetheless, 4,000 investors invested 20,000 pounds. Sorry. 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 One scheme promised investors a 50% return within one year. To me, that would have been a warning sign. However, 4,000 people invested 20,000 pounds in one venture. And I went crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Several investment schemes sprang up to take advantage of this fabulous investment opportunity. <laughs> Several schemes sprang up to take advantage of the financial potential of these birds. One scheme promised investors a 50% return on their investment within one year. To me, that would have been a warning sign. Nonetheless, fifth. <laughs> sorry. So High five. High five. Oh, it's, Hi. It's for you. And this is, of course, Dr. Kim Hammond and his, his friend Mikey. Mikey's this like a, a toddler on crack. This is, Mikey. <laughs> this is Mikey. And I have to tell you, you know, Mikey is, is an emissary for our lakes and our oceans and some of the. Uh oh, I'm losing oh. my chair now. A rapidly Mikey. disappearing um, ecosystem. And, and, you know, Mikey can come to your house. Go see him. Hold on, yes, Mike. Don't you want Mikey in your house, everyone? You, you know, he'll come for a visit and he'll teach your kids a little bit. You can call the Falls Road Animal Hospital. Oh, They'll give you the name, but it's okay, the company's oh, called right. Party, Party oh. Safari. All right. All what right. Are you oh. doing? What's Ooh, down not, there? Ooh, don't, don't pull all, all right. the wires. Oh boy. Okay. So anyway, we're actually going to try to get to some questions. It's a little difficult. It's a little distracting. Not too much, you know. <laughs> Why? Just a little. This is, this is a normal day in the Hammond household. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try to get to a question. This is from Roy. My cat's diet consists of dry food and a treat of some moist cat food in the mornings. Right. He gets sick on occasion. The result looks like he didn't even swallow or chew his food. Should this be something to worry about? No, it's not something to worry about, but you should definitely pursue that. And if, you know, sometimes well, with cats, when they get mm -hmm. sick, we use, you know, it's hair related or it's right. eating too fast or it's too rich mm -hmm. because the cats can throw up normally. So maybe use a little hairball medicine, give smaller portions, that okay. kind of stuff. All right, I'm a little, I'm a little lost now. Non plus, now okay. Mikey got my scripts a little messed up, but I think our next question is from Sherry. Okay. Is that right? Okay. Okay. Oops. Great. No, 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 Great. No, 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 no. Sherry says I adopted a setter mix from the shelter after she okay. had been home right. for Hold a few on, months. Down. She became very itchy and lost clumps of hair. It resolved itself, but now three months later, it's back. Any okay. recommendations? Oh, oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. Mind. The recommendations are go to your veterinarian because it could be a mange <laughs> problem or it could be an allergy problem, and it's absolutely something that can be taken care of. But you have to diagnose it. <laughs> Here's to the news. <laughs> Mikey, I need these. Okay. All right. Mikey, can we look. go to the next question? I'll read it off the screen. <laughs> Maybe Mikey will read it. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Okay, this is from uh, Jay Hillier. Right, Our dog was down. diagnosed with a ruptured knee ligament. Sit. Could you yeah. please talk about the procedures to correct it? Oh, you know, ruptured knee ligament's really simple. It's all surgery, and, it's, and depending on the type of the ligament, you know, sometimes a specialist has to do it, sometimes your veterinarian can do it. But basically, they go in there and they repair it, just like they repair a human ligament. And your your dog can come back almost 100%, depending on how much injury there is All to right. the knee. Will you let me know the next time Mike, Mike is doing I will be calling in sick. <laughs> By the way, what page are we on? <laughs> I, I... <laughs> All right. You can email your question to pet questions at the wbalchannel.com or you can visit our website. <laughs> or you can send us a question. Oh my goodness. All right. Bye, Mikey. We gotta go. I'll see you later.
Okay. Thanks so much for stopping by. Dr. Kim. Pleasure. I will talk to you later. All right. We'll be right back.